Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2013, brought to you by Planning Center Resources. Never overbook again. All right, so our NAB 2013 coverage is continuing, and I'm over here at the Softron booth with Pierre, and these guys have come up with a really kind of cool product uh, to do time slipping, where you can ingest a video file maybe from your main auditorium and then time slip it out to multiple venues, either on your campus or if you've got the bandwidth going out over the uh, wider area network to satellite campuses and things like that. So I'm going to let him talk a little bit about it because he'll do a better job explaining it than I will. So Pierre, go ahead and uh, let us know what we got here. Okay, thank you. So um, basically, what we what we do so we have different solutions uh, ranging from ingest to playout. And how we do the time slip is that we combine our ingest, so recording, to the, with the playout because the the rec the recording you can do edit while ingest, so you can reuse the file immediately. So. We have the product called Movie Recorder. That's what will be able to record the stream. So what's the signal coming in? And we will be able to record and immediately play, uh, play it out. So you can play it out a little bit later. You just decide. So it's very easy to use, just to show quickly. Uh, what you do is that you hit the record button, starts recording, it shows up there, and you will simply drag and drop in your playlist, and it's ready to play. All right, you can trim the start because maybe you started recording a little bit too early, so you can trim the, the start. And once you're ready, one hour later, two hours later, you just simply... Or even five minutes later. Ooh, even five minutes later, yeah. anytime. You start playing and you see that now I'm playing a file that is still currently being recorded. Right. So it will catch up bit by bit. And then when you're over, you just stop playing. We are showing here on the same computer, but it can be on a different computer. You're just recording on one, recording on a shared storage, whatever sh storage that the two computers have access to, and you're playing it from a, a different location. So it's very ideal. You can be on the same computer, here with a simple Mac Mini, connected to a, in Thunderbolt to a Sonnet box. In that Sonnet box, I have the Decklink Duo, which allow me to have one input and one output. Okay, but you can, really it's flexible, you can have two Mac Minis, one in one location and the other one in another location, just simply using AJ, Blackmagic or Matrox. That's the kind, the card that we support. We, we do software, only software, on a Mac, and we use standard video cards. So that's how, that, that's how we work. So you could probably would even work with uh, some of the new Thunderbolt video interfaces from uh, Blackmagic and, and that sort of thing as well, just to, to, to avoid the box, just use a Thunderbolt interface. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the Thunderbolt interface, this one is to be able to have two in and out because there is no, for example, from Blackmagic, there are these little devices that are very nice and inexpensive, the Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder and Mini Monitor. Uh, they are very nice devices, or the AJT tab, for example. But they ha there is only one in and one out. So this works fine if you have only one input and one output. Because there is no, on these devices, there are no two Thunderbolt ports, so you cannot daisy chain that. If you could daisy chain, then it, it could work. Yeah. It would be nice if more would daisy chain the Thunderbolt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the AJ, um, the X, um, what's the name? IOXT. The IOXT has two Thunderbolt ports, and then you can daisy chain. Yeah, and Motu just released a uh, product as well at the show here, the uh, HDX SDI, I think, which also has daisy chainable and in IO on that product as well. So, absolutely. So then you can have two two in and out. Right. Very cool. So now pricing, obviously, it's available. Um, pricing wise, what's your how do you how do you price the this product here? Okay, so the price is so for the software, and we charge. Uh, $995 per channel, so for the ingest side, and for the playout it will be 2000 So let's say for 3000 in software you can do the, the, the time shifting. Right. And then whatever hardware you need to go with it, Mac Mini and cards and all that kind of stuff. So I think that there's a pricing, I'm not the sales guy, I'm all the, the tech guy, so I don't know all the, the price is very right. And, but it's roughly around 10000 even less dollars, you, you will have a complete solution. Yeah. For that. And it's uh, it'll record in multiple formats and full HD and all that kind of stuff as well. Yes, so we support most codecs like ProRes, XDCAM. We just an announced XDCAM HD and XDCAM HD 422, even HDV. I don't know. A lot of people that still use it, but 
we support it. It's kind of the same codec than XDKMHD, uh, DVC Pro HD, so really yeah. a lot of different codecs support it. Very cool. And if people want to learn more information, they could find you on the web, I imagine. Yeah. So uh, softron.tv, that's our website. There is a lot of information. We also try to be as open as possible. So all is downloadable on the website. You go on the download page, you can try it out. We want to make sure that our clients, when they purchase, they know it's working well for them. That's our target. And one important thing also is that all these apps are remotely comp controllable, Apple scriptable, so all that is very open. You can automatic automatize things and all that. So it's very easy. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of Apple Script and Apple Scripting stuff and you know you can you can fire uh, Apple Scripts from calendar events too, which is uh, very fun. So you could automate really automate this thing pretty pretty effectively. So we even have a iPad application to control the recording and the play out. So we, we try to be really open and also integration with different solutions and uh, you could build your own solution to control the recorders and the play out. That's kind of easy to do. Well, you need to do a little bit. <laughs> but you can find it on the Google, so it's not that hard. Awesome. Well, cool. If, uh, so if you're looking for a time-slipping uh, appliance, you, know, you can really build one here fairly inexpensively, especially when you compare it to uh, some of the dedicated hardware solutions that are in the tens to twenty thousands of dollars to get full HD quality. So uh, softron.tv is the website. So um, take a look at it, download the samples, and uh, see what you think. Mm -hmm.